Good evening. It's been a lovely day down here in the south of France. Um, I feel very lucky to be here. And this evening, I just wanted to give you a brief overview of my PhD and uh, give you a bit of context uh, for the research that I'm doing. So I'm working on four orchids uh, whose names are man, military, monkey and lady orchids. And uh, they are colloquially known as anthropomorphic orchids. And this term anthropomorphic is very apt because the petals of these flowers literally look like little people. Now, they all look very different, these four species, but they are very closely related. And when they uh, grow in the same place, they will quite happily engage in a bit of light-hearted interspecific pollination and they reproduce with each other. And in doing so, they produce these intermediate orchids called hybrids, which are kind of like half like one species and half like the other. So my PhD is trying to work out why these four orchids remain as very different uh, separate species rather than just sort of merging into one big hybrid super species. So I'm going about this in different ways. I'm working with the genetics uh, predominantly, so looking at DNA. I'm then looking at morphology of the plants, so the colour and the shape and the size of the plants. And uh, I'm working with a colleague at the University of Montpellier who is analysing the chemical compounds that uh, the plant emits as, as scent and uh, working out which pollinators uh, are the culprits for, this, for these hybridisation events, uh, which insects are moving uh, pollen from one orchid to another. So in that context, uh, hopefully in the next few days, I'll be able to show you exactly some of the things I'm doing down here. Um, I'm going to introduce you to the orchids and uh, yeah, I hope you uh, learn something or if not, you just get to laugh at me and my videos. If anyone has any questions, definitely get in touch. I would love to hear from you. I'm really, really excited to be sharing my science in this way. It's all very new for me. So yeah, definitely get in touch and uh, I will try and answer your questions as best as I can.